This is what we're making today. Warmth. First, we're gonna make a dashi. In a pot of water, we're gonna add in shiitake mushrooms and kombu. We're gonna let this simmer for 30 minutes. While our dashi is simmering away, we're gonna cut up all our ingredients. We're gonna begin by slicing up this tofu into 1 centimeter cubes. Today guys, we're making Toma specialty, which is basically just a miso soup. But to make this special, we're making a really good dashi. If you guys don't know, dashi is the soul of Japanese cuisine. Learning how to make a really good dashi will elevate your Japanese cooking. And to make a really good dashi, you need really good ingredients. But if you don't have time to make a really good dashi, just use the powdered stuff. That's pretty good too. Next, we're going to slice up the top part of a green onion on a bias and the bottom part naturally. This will be used as garnish and flavoring for miso soup. Then we're going to carve out a carrot because for some reason there's a carrot. Then using scissors, we're going to cut up this wakame seaweed into one centimeter squares. After 30 minutes of simmering, not boiling, we're going to add in our bonito flakes. The first is a thick smoked bonito which will give this miso soup a smoky flavor and the second is just your regular old bonito flakes. We're going to steep the bonito for 10 minutes and then drain it through a strainer. It's very important that you don't boil the bonito or this soup will turn bitter. Look at how golden that dashi is, isn't it beautiful? Now, into our dashi, we're going to add in some miso. So the reason why I'm adding in the miso like this is because I don't want whole chunks of miso in my miso soup. If I simply drop the miso into the dashi, it won't dissolve properly. Which is why it's very important to use this technique. Next, we're going to add in our tofu and our seaweed into our miso soup and of course our carrot. We're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, let's get ready to plate. Miso soup is one of those comforting dishes for me on a rainy autumn day. If you've never cooked Japanese food before, I highly suggest you make this. Learning how to make a dashi is one of the most important things in Japanese cuisine. It's the base for hundreds of Japanese dishes and sauces. Because I made such a good dashi, this soup ended up quite flavorful. Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you cook next, please post in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.